Second leg of the Longines IJC. It's over the 1650 here, leg number two. It's a class four contest headed by Mickey Rich, who was a winner here of the 1200 metres in September. Christophe Lemaire all right. Exceptional desire, two time uh, winner here at uh, Happy Valley over the 1200. Though Ryan Moore from Barrier 5. CP Power Course and Distance first time. Marvel Joy run out behind Curling Luxury last time out. SWAT Windicator draws Barrier 11. Yet to score in eight starts. Glory Star goes up in class. Her last start course and distance winner. And Young Glory from Barrier 1. Chase Home, you have my word last time out. So that was at Chartin. Good for you and Savvy 7 have been up at uh, Chung Fa, both returning on the third. Harder speed map to read for the night, I feel. Uh, Young Glory, has he got the pace to kick through and hold the lead? Clear choice. I thought they'd ride him back last start. They sort of half-heartedly did and then took off mid-race. I cannot envisage Marble Joy being back there last from Barrier 9. I think from Gate 9 this time, Hugh Bowman will ride forward as they did um, four starts ago when he drew that barrier. But there are a lot of variations and possibilities for this speed map, which makes it difficult. This horse could lead on his ear for me if he wanted. Yeah, he should get a good run. He's, the question mark's obviously the distance, but coming back to Happy Valley's a big positive, and Ryan Moore as well. He's looked good. He's, he's fourth up now, so he's pretty fit. CP Power, I thought this wasn't a bad gallop from him. He's showing a little bit of his old zipper. Horse has been way out of form in his last four starts, but barrier four with Colin Keane aboard. Which is to see if he can return to some sort of form. And the other one is uh, Clear Choice. We saw this bit earlier on with the heavy bunch, but uh, Clear Choice uh, in the orange saddle cloth was uh, going very nicely there, 4 2 6 on the outside. And uh, he had excuses last time. Mm. All right. Which we'll see very shortly. Uh, this is the first leg of the triple trio with 1.7 going into the jackpot, so we have an estimated dividend in the region of $4 million. As far as the TT is concerned, we'll start off with Good For You. He'll be ridden by Javier Castellano, who's behind Witness Hunter here. He is a horse that generally finds the line quite strongly. The trip has been tried four times at various tracks, and he's never found the frame, but he is a winner over 1,400 twice and a winner over 1,200 metres twice, and he's in a reasonable amount of form, so despite the the distance being a question mark, I, I can't rule him out. Yeah, I'll put him in for fourth. Um, I was the same as you, Brett. Barrier six, he should get a reasonable run. Mm. Um, and he is he's a horse in form at the moment. OK, all right, that's uh, good for you. What about uh, Marvel Joy? Here's our favourite at this stage. Um, speed map happened at the back. He's much closer to the pace when they swung in here. Yeah, this was last start when he drew barrier one and he sat in fourth, fifth position, pretty handy to the speed. Oh, I think they will roll the dice from nine and travel forward. There's no real noted leader in this race with the exception of exceptional desire. And I, I tend to think he could lead the race exceptional desire, but... Um... It's a real tricky one. I think Marvel Joy's in form and has to be included. Yeah, I've got him in the numbers. I, I haven't got him on top because I thought he had every chance here, but it was still a really good run. And it's a tricky race, this one. All yes. right, that's uh, Marvel Joy. What about uh, Clear Choice? Touched on the fact he might have had excuses. Um, tough run, covered a bit of ground. I made him the long shot on this occasion. I, I feel that he's a better horse when ridden quiet. And they rode him quiet for the first half and then... They took off halfway down the back and it just all went horribly wrong from that point onwards. And in review, the run was enormous, really, considered to battle on for fourth, as he did. Yeah, he did. And, um, look, I've got him in again. I think he's going to be a good choice. From Barrier 10, I think they will go back, which is how the horse uh, uh, will be... Uh, yeah. In, it, he should enjoy it. It's a really tough race to work out through the first couple of hundred, this one. Yeah. I, I'm going to stick with him because I tipped him last start and I thought he ran well, all considered. Yeah. All right, Hugh Bowman rides the favourite in the first leg. He rides the favourite in the second leg as well. I've got him in too, uh, as well, Marvel Joy. But I'm going to take a chance that Exceptional Desire can get the 16.50. That's the question mark. He's well rated now. He's one off 58. He's now at 55. He's had three starts a season, all at shouts in. He comes back to his favourite course where he's won twice, Happy Valley. And he's got Ryan Moore on. So there's a few positives there. The question marks, obviously, the distance. But if he can either just slot in or, as Brett said, if he can get a lead, um, we know where he's going to be. So he's going to get a good run on the race. Clear choice, obvious excuses last time. Marvel Joy, uh, he, I think he'll be there. He's, um, he's a nice horse. Uh, and then uh, good for you for fourth. Three, seven, six and two. I thought this was the hardest of the four. Yeah. Uh, whoever wins this race could win the championship. I think this is potentially the deciding race. It's so open, it's so difficult to work out how it's going to unfold in the first few hundred metres. I'm just going to stick with clear choice. I'm still of the opinion he reacts and is more effective when ridden quiet. Um, so I'll tip him. I think Marvel Joy will roll forward. Good for you, you know, stretching at the distance, but he's in form. Savvy 7 ran a good race 
three back, but he hasn't gone on with it. I've had time for Young Glory. Ishvara's running OK. CP Power's well below his best rating, and nice track work from him. It's, it's tough. Who'd you go with, Andrew? I went with Young Glory, actually. Um, place favourite at the moment. Um, Barry One, hopefully it doesn't turn into a, a nightmare from the inside. He gets too far back. But, uh, yeah, big chance in a wide race. Uh, but Hugh Bowman scoring good points uh, once more there in the second leg.